What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and the Smash Ballot is going to go live or rather I don't know what it's going to do but something's going to happen on October 3rd which is six days away. Now this video is coming out a little bit late so it may be a little bit less time depending on the region of the world that you live in. Maybe in the UK it's already five days but at least here in the United States six days left until the Smash Ballot comes to its completion. Now like I said before we don't know exactly what is going to happen. There was some article that I was linked that apparently talked about Sakurai and the whole ballot like in general but that didn't really actually happen. The article was just using a whole lot of humdrum and you know nonsense and uh, you know just general um what, what, what is, what's the word see my, my vocabulary has suffered a bit ever since i left college and what's the word for it um a lot of rhetoric similar to what i do on my channel on a regular basis but anyways guys we today have an article for someone named awesome brown which says to do a video about a poll which apparently comes out of japan and has a whole lot of people that are entered into it so it's a lot more accurate than the poll that we covered yesterday and in terms of our own poll I'm probably going to go live with that shit tomorrow. I've been looking at the comment section of the first countdown video that we did, and there's a whole lot of characters in there, so I'm going to make sure I put them all in a straw poll. I won't be able to cover every single character that people would want in the game, but at least the ones that seem to have the most traction behind them. I'll be able to put those guys in our own EWN poll, so we can see exactly what people here think. I know everyone's not going to vote in that shit, but maybe we can get like 5,000 voters or 4,000 voters. That would be insane. And who knows, maybe that could show Daddy Sakurai a, a different perspective on things, because the only fan polls that I've seen up until now only had like, you know, 2,000 people max. Anyways, Awesome Brown, once again, thank you. This will be linked in the description so you can look at the data for yourself. I'm looking at this for the first time here. Some of you dudes may have already seen this shit. But anyways, let's go to Source Gaming right now, which is apparently compiling all this information. So, um, Perception of Smash DLC in Japan Redux. So this has already been done once before, so we already have, um... A little bit of a ballot here so here we go in Japan the top 19 most requested characters and funnily enough on this one King K. Rool is actually at the top he's that popular in Japan for some strange reason but I mean it's not strange I mean obviously the DK series is loved in Nihon as well too um, Nippon Nippon Nihon's the people Nippon's the land and it's not a surprise to me man um, well, it is a little bit of a surprise, but uh, not really. Um, but then again, this one looks like it's a little bit outdated because Roy is still on the list. And um, I don't know, Roy's already confirmed as a character, so this one's probably from a few months ago. I feel like because Roy was confirmed, this data would be very different if it was taken now. But um, we can still take a look at this because even though Roy is now out of the running, I guess it wouldn't change the popularity of the other characters on this little poll here. And as you can see, King K. Rool has 115 votes. So this one had a lot of people voting in on it too. Um, how many people in general were voting on this though? Because, let me see, um, maybe it lists the number of exactly... Um, okay, so as I mentioned before, this is the final results in my research with over 1,000 votes. And, you know, that's a pretty big number to get everybody to vote consecutively on. Um, and these are Japan's numbers, right? I haven't really seen a poll that's that big for the United States yet. Somebody has to link me to that shit. But um, it seems like King K. Rool in Japan is definitely, definitely up, dude. And, hey, it's surprising to me, but of course in America the desire would be different because Shovel Knight, as you all know, is not available in Japan yet. So, I mean, he will be eventually. I see that um, I see that the, the, the developer is actually doing their best to try to make it available in Japan. I covered that in a previous video, but, I mean, he's not there yet. So, of course they're going to have different desires. The point is that... We should probably look at Japan's highest results for the ballot and then America's highest results. And that's one thing that I didn't think of as well too. With the ballot have, you know, differing ways of looking at the votes that were taken from America and Japan. I don't think it makes you put in your region when you're looking at the Smash ballot, but it might it might use some of the data to be able to determine if you're from the US or Japan or anywhere else in the world, depending on where you input your um, vote here. Now in terms of what we're going to do for tomorrow's EWN poll, like I said, every single person who was able to thumbs up comments on the first poll video, excuse me, on the first countdown video, their character is going to be featured in that shit, and you just basically vote for who you want to see. And I highly encourage you all to vote in tomorrow's poll, because I really want to see where we come from, you know? Obviously, we're nowhere near a big enough number to be able to determine what a certain region or a certain area thinks, but we can definitely determine what we think as people, you know? And I feel like in our poll, Shantae is probably going to win for multiple reasons, but who knows? I'm curious to see where that shit goes. But anyways, guys, thank you for staying with me with this countdown video. Let me know any other information in regards to the ballot for the future. And um, you can see me talk my head off about it as well, too. 
pointlessly, aimlessly, but at the same time, still to generate hype. I do want to be hype about this whole thing. The only issue is that we have no idea what will happen or what will take place on the 3rd of October. Like I said, it's basically a huge mystery right now. Will the ballot results be revealed? What I really want to happen is a few days before the ballot is revealed, like maybe three days before, um, they show us like the two top running characters, and then they have us like go on a vote off for the both of them. And then maybe at the end, he's like, actually, I was gonna put them both in anyways, but uh, good job on you guys. Like, Yo, that would be so amazing. But um, I still, I'm, I'm still am excited about this. I know I'm not as hype as I seemingly am for other things, but it's only because everything is a mystery right now and we have absolutely no data on the ballot. What we knew from the beginning with the Smash ballot is the same as what we know right now. There's been no difference for months. So I do want to be hype, but there's so much mystery. It's kind of hard to find traction in that. But I mean, I'm still curious to see what happens, dude. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.